So there are 33 vertebrae in the spinal column, and um, each vertebrae has got at least three joints that fuses it to the vertebrae above and below. And just like joints in other parts of the body, these joints also tend to get thicker and slightly worn out as, as we age. Uh, but because the nerves are coming out around these joints, if the uh, joints get thicker, they sort of start trapping the nerves or the spinal cord. And in younger people, you can get a disc prolapse, which is part of the joint. So that's, that's what is spinal degenerative disease. So the symptoms really depend on where this is most prominent, um, and it depends on if the problem occurs in the neck or the lower back. Uh, the most common symptom of spinal degenerative disease uh, occurs in the lower back, which is back pain, uh, which affects a huge majority of the world population. <clears throat> there, there are really no <clears throat> causative factors that we know of, but factors such as real hard labor, smoking, and the family history are associated with it, but we don't really know whether they cause it. Um, if, the, uh, degen if the degeneration and the compression of the nerve occurs around a particular nerve that can give rise to pain along the nerve, like a sciatica pain or the pain along the arm. If it starts compressing the spinal cord, then you can get difficulties with moving the particular part um, like difficulty in walking or difficulty in moving the arm. Uh, but the most common symptom really is just simply pain, either pain in the neck or pain in the back, uh, where it isn't really pressing on any nerves, but the joints are just wearing out. We don't really know what the cause is. This is just like uh, degeneration in all the other joints. So. As we get older, your hip joints, your knee joints, your shoulder joints, all of them start wearing out. So it's partly age related, but partly also related to the sort of activity that you do in your life. Somebody who does really hard work or somebody who pro plays contact sport very regularly for many number of years are more likely to get degenerative spinal disease than people who are more in sedentary jobs there are some associations such as uh, being very overweight can give a tendency to arthritis in general, but particularly spinal problems, uh, chronic smoking, um, but we don't really know if there is a particular cause that has been identified. So um, it's more association with work-related factors rather than uh, any particular cause. So depending, uh, depending on the symptoms it causes, so back pain or neck pain, uh, as I said, is a very common thing, um, but the most co common way of diagnosing it is by a scan. Um, plain x-rays used to be done many years ago, but these days plain x-rays are not very helpful in telling us what is going on. <clears throat> um, so the most common form of diagnosis is really an MRI scan of the spine, either the neck or the back uh, or the thorax. With, uh, sometimes a CT scan is required um, and sometimes a weight bearing X-ray to look at the stability of the spine is required. Very occasionally more special investigations such as a myelogram where an in injection of dye is done into the spinal canal is required. But the most common uh, diagnosis is by an MRI scan. So back pain is a very common problem, and as is neck pain. Um, if there is just simple degeneration of the joints um, and pain arising from that without any compression of the nerves, then the treatment initially consists of uh, pain relieving measures, physiotherapy, lifestyle changes, um, where you look at how you're doing the work, what work you do and adapt to it accordingly. Uh, people need to get input from their local physiotherapist as well as, as, well as occupational therapists at work. Um, occasionally, if the pain gets severe, other measures such as injections locally around the spinal canal, injections around the nerves might help. Um, if there is a problem where a nerve is particularly being compressed, which leads to severe pain, or weakness, then surgery might be indicated to release the trapped nerve. And similarly, if there is a compression or pressure on the spinal cord, 
which leads to the movement not working properly, the muscles not working properly. Again, surgery might be required to relieve the, relieve the compression. 